Welcome to Finance with Avery. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of the top five CD certificate of deposit accounts ranked by APY annual percentage yield for February 2024. And there is a tie on the list. So there's actually going to be around seven accounts on this list because there's a tie at number three. And I'm going to let you know what the minimum initial deposit is required to open these accounts if they have one. If not, I'll let you know about that as well and let you know a little bit of background on the financial institution itself because some of these these companies aren't as familiar as others and aren't as popular. So you may not have heard of some of them. And also I'm going to give you a calculation example of a certain amount of money and how much interest you would get from having that amount deposited into one of these CD accounts for the term limit specified and the APY that is being offered. And also all of the accounts on this video are from banks and financial institutions. There are no credit unions on this list because I want to reach a broader audience with this video and with this list and credit unions also often have certain obligations and requirements that you must meet in order to be a member of the credit union to have an account with them. Like currently there's a credit union that has a 5.75% APY, very high for a CD, but they have a certain eligibility requirements where if you don't meet it, then you can't be a member, which means you can't get an account. I actually answered the questions that they have for you of whether or not you're eligible to be a member. I, mean, I didn't have the right uh, details in my life that I could become a member. So with credit unions, you typically either have to live in a certain area, work for a certain company, or have a connection to the military, something like that, usually with credit unions. But however, if you have a relationship already with a credit union in your area or because of where you work or something like that, and you're interested in opening a CD account, I would say, you know, definitely check out the rates that are available there. Not all credit unions have high rates or higher rates than what banks are offering, but some of them have some that kind of in line with some of these banks and a couple of them I've seen have rates that are higher. So definitely check the ones out in your area if you're just searching for the highest rate and everything, or if you already have a relationship with a credit union or, you know, if you're thinking about, you know, a certain credit union in your area and you're like, hey, I want to see if I'm eligible. See if you can become a member. Maybe you can. Maybe you can. But I just wanted to focus here on this video on national financial institutions and banks, because more people are going to be eligible for these accounts than certain credit unions. And for most of these accounts, you can be open across the United States in their nationwide accounts. There are some exceptions here and there. And once you start, you know, filling out the application to have this account, they'll let you know, like, oh, no, not in that state, because there is one in this list specifically where you can't open it if you live in a certain state. And I'll tell you about that one when we get to it. Now, this is still a good time to lock in a nice high yield CD rate because I have noticed rates are coming down a little bit. And there's two specific examples in this video where rates have come down on these accounts. And I'll actually show you and tell you about those when we get to those, because these specific accounts made my top five CD accounts list back in December 2023. However, now they're still on the top five list, still very high yields, but their yields have come down some. So I've noticed some kind of plateauing of certain accounts where they've kind of stayed stagnant with APYs and even some APYs that have started to come down some. So most recently, when the Fed started hiking rates back in 2022, CD rates were also starting to rise as well, along with the federal funds rate rising. Because if you look at history, that's kind of pretty much what happens. And I actually made a video on this federal funds rates versus CD and savings rates, basically, where I go into detail about the correlation between the federal funds rate and yields on CD accounts and savings accounts. And I go in detail with this about the history of it and all kinds of information. So definitely check out that video if you're interested in that. I'll leave a link down in the description to that video if you want to check that out. So as you see here on this chart, the CD accounts, you know, six month, one month, two year, three year, all of them are going up steadily with the federal funds rate going up. However, now the federal funds rate, they've stated they're not going to be hiking rates anymore. Instead, they're going to start cutting rates in 2024. There's been hints and predictions and articles and everything around. Some people saying three rate cuts. Some people saying six rate cuts. Some people saying they may not cut rates at all. They, they mentioned it, but they may not do it at all. It really depends on the economy, of course. And I won't go into deep dive detail about that because this video isn't about the economy. It's just about the CD rate. So I really want to get back to on track. But yeah, so with the federal funds rate possibly being cut three times this year, what is that going to mean? Well, yields on CD accounts, savings accounts, may start getting cut more. I mean, they've already been getting cut some savings accounts. I haven't noticed as many cuts and rates dropping over there yet, but I have noticed it with CD accounts, the ones that have made it on this video and also some that aren't on this video because they didn't make it, you know, in the top five list. 
And before we jump into the list, I want to go over some of the requirements and things that all of these accounts have in common on this list. And I have timestamps down in the description if you want to jump to a certain spot in the video. If you've heard this part before, you don't want to hear it again. That's totally understandable. Some people may want to hear this part again or may haven't heard this part before. And so they want to, you know, hear this part. If you don't, you want to skip somewhere else, totally fine. Check out the timestamps in the chapters down in the description. You can skip back and forth and all over the video. So all of the accounts in this video are FDIC insured. So they have the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation backing with them. And that is an independent agency that was created by Congress during the Great Depression to maintain stability and public confidence in the nation's financial system. And typically they're going to protect your account up to $250,000. So if something went wrong with the bank or financial institution that you have your money in, the CD account, savings account or whatever that are FDIC insured, then the FDIC would step in and pretty much make you whole. So you would not lose your money. Even if that bank collapsed or went under bankrupt, anything like that, you will be made whole. Your funds will be returned to you by the FDIC, the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. And actually no customer has ever lost funds and an FDIC insured bank, even if that bank has gone under or gone bankrupt. No customer with an FDIC insured bank has ever lost funds since the FDIC was created. So it's very important for your money to be FDIC insured. I personally would not open an account with any bank or financial institution that was not FDIC insured. So yeah, next up here, all of the APYs are fixed rate APYs, which means the rate that you get when you sign up for these CD accounts will remain the same for the length of the CD. So if it's a nine month CD, six month CD, no matter how long it is, the APY you get when you sign up is gonna remain the same throughout. So even if that bank lowers the APY for that specific term CD next month or two months from now, that won't pertain to you. You will keep the same APY that you got when you sign up. So you're pretty much locking in that rate, locking in that APY. So that works both ways though. However, if the rate goes up next month or two months from now, then you would still get that same rate that you had before that lower rate basically. So it kind of goes both ways. It can work for you. It kind of against you having a fixed rate. A fixed rate is typically good because you know how much you're going to get paid with your interest. You know, no matter what's going on with the market, the economy, the federal funds rate, anything like that, you lock in that certain rate and you know, okay, for the next six months, for the next year, for the next 14 months, however long, this is the APY I'm getting on that amount of money that I put in the CD. So yes, all of the accounts in this video have fixed rate APYs, which is pretty much a standard thing with CD certificate of deposits accounts. That's one of the things that makes them different from savings accounts because savings accounts typically have variable rate APYs. No matter how long you have your money, you just have your money sitting in a savings account and that APY could change like three, four times in the year basically. So that's one of the main differences between savings accounts and CD accounts is that rate being fixed with CD accounts and the rates being variable with savings accounts. Next up here, common feature that all of these accounts have is that none of them have a monthly maintenance fee. So you don't have to worry about any kind of $2, $3 fee or anything being thrown at you just for having the account open. Next on the list, there is an early withdrawal penalty that ranges between these accounts. So you put your money in these accounts for this certain term limit, you know, six months, nine months, however long. So you're pretty much locked into that period. You can take your money out, the principal amount you put in and the interest. However, you will get hit with a penalty and that ranges. Sometimes like 180 days worth of interest or 60 days worth of interest. Different banks and financial institutions have different penalty amounts. Now, often you can take the interest that you earn out every month. So once the interest is paid out, you could typically on a lot of accounts, transfer that to a different account or something like that. Take that out and that's fine. You won't get a penalty for that. However, if you try to take that principal amount, however amount your CD is, you know, 10,000, 7,000, 20,000, 50,000, whatever it is you put in the CD. If you try to take that out before the term limit is that six months, nine months, whatever the term limit is, then you will get hit with the penalty. Now, there are no penalty CDs where you can withdraw all of your money out anytime and not get hit with a penalty. Typically, there's like a lockup period for like seven days or something like that, or 10 days, different kind of ranges. But after that, you could take your money out within that six months, nine months or however and not get hit with a penalty. Those are no penalty CD accounts. And I do make top five lists for no penalty CD accounts. I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested in that, if you want to check that out. So yeah, those accounts do exist. And there are some nice high APYs with some of those accounts as well. But yeah, on this list, these top five CD accounts do have a penalty associated with them if you take the money out early. So typically a CD account is good for somebody who has a lump sum of money, wants to earn a nice high yield on it, wants that money to be safe and not lose value of the principal and wants to be able to get to that money at a certain time 
and earn interest on it, basically. But yeah, all of these accounts do have an early withdrawal penalty associated with them that ranges if you were to do that with the money that you put in the account. Also, there are various initial deposit requirements for the CD accounts in this video. Some of them don't have an initial deposit requirement and some of them do, whether it be $500, $1,000 and so on and so on. When we get to the list, I'll tell you exactly what the initial deposit requirement is for each of these accounts, whether or not they have one or whether they do and how much that amount is. So yeah, there are various initial deposit requirements with the CD accounts on this list. And also all the banks and financial institutions on this list have a mobile app available on the Apple and Google Play app stores where you can check out your account and do different things with your account on your phone with the mobile app that's on the app store from that financial institution. So it makes it very convenient to be able to check out your account. Now we've gone over all of that. However, before I jump into the list, I want to tell you about some other CD accounts out there that have a nice high APY associated with them, but wasn't high enough to get on this list. However, they're being provided by financial institutions that are well known and popular because some of the financial institutions on my top five list aren't that well known. So some people may be a little uncomfortable putting a certain amount of money in the account, even though they're all FDIC insured, you know, some people want to feel a little bit more comfortable. Wanting, oh, I know that bank or I have that bank in my area or I've already had an account with that bank, something like that. So I do want to tell you about a couple of other large financial institutions that have CD accounts at nice high rates, around 5%. So yeah, they're nice and high rates that you can lock in. However, not high enough to get on my top five list. And all of these CDs I'm going to show you also have all the same common features that I just talked about with the FDIC insurance insurance, the fixed rate APY, the mobile app, no monthly maintenance fee and all of that. And starting off here with Ally, a very well-known online bank, they have a six month CD at 5.05% APY, which is their highest yielding CD that they have for their available terms, but they also have some other terms with nice high yields as well. They have a three month at 3%, not that high, but then you get a little bit more, of course, that six month at 5.05%. Then you have a nine month at 4.95%, which is nice, and a 12 month at 4.90%. 18 month at 4.65%, then it starts to drop off more, three year at 4% and five year at 4% as well. But Ally, very well known bank. I've had a CD with them actually as well. I really like their app interface and just how it's just kind of somewhat basic, but informative as well. It's got a good in between with it. So yeah, I do like Ally for sure in their mobile app, but yeah, they have a nice six month CD at 5.05%, which is their highest yielding CD. And there's no minimum deposit required to open up a CD with Ally. And then we have CIT Bank. They have several terms available for their CDs. Their highest yielding CD is their six month CD as well. It's at 5% APY. And you see the table over here with their CD terms and their APYs. You have the 13 month at 4.65%. And then the 18 month at 4.60%. So those are their highest yielding CDs right there because after that, their five year, four year, three year, you see that as like 0.50%, 0.40% and so on. So yeah, definitely not high yields with those, but six month, 13 month, 18 month, nice high yield on those. And there is a thousand dollar minimum deposit required to open the CD with CIT Bank. And I've used them as well for a CD account before. They updated their app a few months ago, which made it much better because before then it was kind of lagging, very basic, very very plain. They updated it a few months ago and it looks much better. The online interface is nice. Mobile app interface is caught up with it now. So that's good. Haven't had any issues with CIT Bank or Ally Bank with the CDs I've had with them. And then there's Capital One, a very well-known bank. They have a one-year CD at 5% APY, a two-year at 4.30% APY, and a five-year at 4% APY. And there's no minimum initial deposit required amount for opening a CD with Capital One. And then here are some other terms they have available. They have several terms from six months to 60 months, and they're all at least 4% or more. So that's nice. With their highest yielding CD being that 12 month or one year, you could say 5% APY CD. And then there's Citibank, which is a very well known large bank. I believe they're the third or fourth largest bank in the United States based on total assets, somewhere up there in the top five. And let's look at their rate here. So their highest yielding CD for Citibank looks to be their seventh month CD. It's at 5.01% APY. And then they have a nine month at 3.75% APY and a 15 month at 4% APY. 
And you see the other terms they have available for their CDs, very low APY, 0.05% for three months, four months, five months, six months. Then that seventh month is their highest yielding one. And it drops back down for the eight month. They're definitely gearing people towards that seven month and the nine month because all the CDs around there, the eight month, the six month, the 10 month are like 0.05% and it just jumps up to, you know, 5.01% and 3.75%. And then they have that 15 month at 4%. So it's just kind of pretty much spread out. They have several terms, but some of them, you know, definitely aren't worth it with a 0.05 percent some of them are nice though at that 5.01 percent and the four percent and there is a $500 minimum deposit required to open up a CD with Citibank. Discover, mostly known, of course, for their credit cards, but they do have a savings account and CD accounts. Right here, you see their rates. They have a 12 month at 4.90% APY. That is their highest APY available on their CDs, but they have their other ones listed here that are nice as well. 4.25% on their six month and nine month term CDs. 4.60% APY on the 18 month term CD. Those are the highlights right there because you see three month, 2% APY. But then if you go up to their longer terms, still around 4%, you know, 24 month at 4.20%, 30 month at 4% and three year at 4%. And then it drops down a little bit with the five year and four year at 3.90%. There is a $2,500 minimum initial deposit required to open a CD with Discover. So that's as low as your CD can be with Discover, at least $2,500. And they actually have their early penalty fee listed out right here, which is nice to know what you're getting into before you get into it to let you know, you know, if you have a CD with less than a year term and you withdraw all of your money early before that year or six months or however long that term is ends, then your penalty will be three three months worth of simple interest and then it goes on and on and so on some companies will say it on their website like this some of them will have it in their deposit disclosure which is those forms you know with all the small print and fine print I dig into some of those of some of my videos and then you also have it where you can actually be in your account and pretend like you're going to withdraw your money early and see what the fee is going to be so there's multiple ways to see kind of what your fee will be if you were to withdraw everything early before the term ends and then we have truest another large bank they have a five month cd at five percent apy that is their highest apy available for their cd so that's nice right there and then they also have a 12 month cd at four percent apy and their minimum opening deposit is $1,000 with Truist. And they have a link right here where you can find a branch close to you to open a CD. Um, some of you may be super familiar with Truist. You may pass by it often in the area you live. And some of you may not. And also some of you may hear Truist and just think, you know, Truist Park, you know, Atlanta Braves Stadium, which is formerly SunTrust Park, but now it's Truist. So yeah, you may or may not be familiar with Truist Bank, but they do have a high yield CD right there with that five month CD at 5% APY and then a 12 month at 4% APY. Not high enough to get on my list, but still Still pretty high. And then also Regis, another one of those banks that you may be familiar with or may not be that familiar with, depending on where you lived or, you know, heavily concentrated in certain areas. The Regis Bank also has a five month CD at 5% APY and then an eight month CD at 4.75% APY. So these are relationship CDs is what they're calling them. So these are premium CD rates, they state, for customers who open a Regis checking account and meet other relationship requirements. But I want to mention this one on the video because some of you may already have a Regis account or be familiar with a Regis especially if they're heavily concentrated in the area that you live they are a large bank as well so if you already have an account with them maybe something to look at if you want to open a CD account as well so yeah those are some large financial institutions that are really well known I'm sure you probably knew all of them or some of them for sure and they're offering CD accounts with nice high yields not high enough to get on my top five list but high enough for me to mention as an honorable mention for sure so now that we've gone over that let's jump into the top five CD accounts ranked by APY for February 2024 and number five on the list is Popular Direct 12 month certificate of deposit at 5.37 percent APY there is a $10,000 minimum initial deposit required to open this account and the interest is compounded daily and credited monthly. Calculation example, if you have $50,000 in this account at 5.37% APY for 12 months and you let the interest stay in the account and compound after 12 months, that $50,000 would be around $52,684.39. So you have interest earned of over $2,600. Popular Direct was launched in 2016 as an online only bank that's a subsidiary of Popular Bank. Popular Incorporated was founded in 1893 and does business as Banco Popular in Puerto Rico and Virgin Islands and Popular Bank in the United States. Popular Direct offers an online savings account and various term CDs. 
popular headquarters is in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Coming in at number four is the Marcus by Goldman Sachs 14 month certificate of deposit at 5.40% APY. There is a $500 minimum deposit required to open this account and the interest is compounded daily and credited monthly. So this is a special promotional rate CD by Marcus by Goldman Sachs and a little bit different for the term limits of 14 months instead of like 12 months or two years or six months or something like that. So yeah, 14 months for this one at 5.40%. And they state that this special promotion ends on April 17th, 2024. Calculation example for this one, if you had $50,000 in this Marcus by Goldman Sachs CD at 5.40% APY for 14 months and you let the interest sit in the account each month and compound after 14 months that $50,000 would be around $53,164.20. Marcus by Goldman Sachs is an online bank that offers a savings account and multiple term CD accounts. Marcus by Goldman Sachs is a brand of Goldman Sachs Bank that was launched in 2016. Goldman Sachs is currently the seventh largest bank in the United States by total assets and was founded in 1869 in New York, New York, where their headquarters still remains. And at number three, we have a tie. First up here, we have the BMO Alto six month certificate of deposit account at 5.50% APY. There is no minimum initial deposit required to open this account and the interest is compounded daily and credited monthly. And you know how I was mentioning towards the beginning of the video that some of the APY rates out there for CD accounts have started to come down a little bit. This is one of them that did. This six month CD account from BMO Alto was featured in my top five list in December 2023 at 5.65% APY. However, now this six month CD account with BMO Alto is at 5.50% APY. So still a nice high yield for sure and high enough to get on my top five CD account list. However, it did come down slightly from where it was before. So a drop of 0.15% APY. So not huge, not major, but notable because like as I stated, CD rates have kind of plateaus, it seems, currently with the economic conditions we're in and what the Fed has stated and everything. So they're kind of going a little sideways and some of them are starting to drop a little bit. And this one specifically has dropped from where it was in the past couple of months. So something to notate here and something I want to note and show you on the video. Calculation example for this one, if you have $50,000 in this account at 5.50% APY for six months and you let the interest compound each month, after six months, that $50,000 will be around $51,355.45. BMO Harris Bank is an independent subsidiary of the multinational investment bank and financial services company Bank of Montreal, commonly known as BMO which owns BMO Harris Bank through the holding company BMO Financial Corporation. Harris Bank was originally founded in 1882 by Norman Waite Harris as N.W. Harrison Company. After they merged with Chicago National Bank in 1960, they restructured as Harris Bank in 1972 and Bank of Montreal acquired them in 1984. BMO Bank headquarters is in Chicago, Illinois, and Bank of Montreal headquarters is in Toronto, Ontario. Also tied up is the Bank 5 Connect 6-month certificate of deposit at 5.50% APY. There is a $500 minimum initial deposit required to open this account, and the interest is compounded and credited monthly. Calculation example for this one, if you have $50,000 in this account at 5.50% APY for six months with the interest compounding monthly, after six months, if you let the interest sit and compound, that $50,000 would be around $51,352.50. So you see with the interest compounding daily versus monthly, there is a slight difference because the previous account for the same amount of months at the same APY, however, with the interest compounding daily, that $50,000 after six months would be around $51,355.45. However, now with this account, with the interest compounding monthly, that $50,000 would be around $51,352.50. So a slight difference of a couple dollars here and there. That's the kind of difference you see with the interest compounding daily versus monthly. Not that big of a difference. There is a difference, as you see. However, it's not that big of a difference where it would be like a deal breaker, like, oh, I need to go with this bank because they compound daily versus monthly. It kind of would come more down to which bank you are more comfortable with having an account with. Unless you are specifically all about the APY, all about the interest compounding daily, something like that. Then, yeah, some people may want to go with the bank that compounds daily versus monthly. Some people might want to go with, oh, I like this bank better because of these features and everything else 
accounts with this account. I don't care if they compound monthly instead of daily or vice versa. However, a lot of accounts compound daily. So you do see some banks that compound monthly and even quarterly. So yeah, with Bank 5 Connect and this account right here, the interest will compound and credit monthly. Bank 5 Connect was created in 2013 as an online division of Bank 5. Bank 5 was founded in 1855 with a headquarters in Fall River, Massachusetts. Bank 5 Connect offers DIF, Depositors Insurance Fund, protection on top of FDIC protection, which protects deposits in excess of $250,000. Bank 5 Connect offers savings and checking accounts, CD accounts, and credit cards. Also tied is the Bread Financial 12-month certificate of deposit at 5.50% APY. There is a minimum initial deposit required amount of $1,500, and the interest is compounded daily and credited monthly. Calculation example for this one, if you have $50,000 in this account at 5.50% APY for 12 months and you let the interest sit every month and compound, after 12 months, that $50,000 will be around $52,747.64. Bread Financial is a financial services company offering credit cards, loans, savings, and CD accounts. Bread Financials was formerly known as Alliance Data, which was formed by a combination of JCPenney's credit card processing unit and the Limited's credit card bank business. Alliance Data changed its name to Bread Financial Holdings in March 2022. Bread Savings is a product of Community Capital Bank and was founded in 1996 with a headquarters in Columbus, Ohio. And at number two, we have the CIBC 12-month certificate of deposit at 5.51% APY. There's a $1,000 minimum initial deposit required to open this account and a maximum deposit amount of $5 million. And the interest is compounded and credited monthly. Now, this is one of the accounts also that dropped their APY from the last time that they were featured on my top five list. Back in December 2023, the 12-month certificate of deposit account with CIBC was at 5.66% APY. However, now that same 12-month certificate of deposit is at 5.51% APY. So you have a drop of about 0.15% on the APY. Not huge, not major, but a drop nonetheless. Something that stood out to me because when I was making this list, I was like, okay, CIBC is on the top of the five, you know, CD accounts and everything. Okay, they're on my previous, you know, save file for this. And oh, hold on. Well, it was 5.66% last. Oh, okay. Still in the top five. However, the APY went down. So I do want to tell you about that because you're starting to see some APYs come down slightly from, I guess, their peak or their plateau or their high for these current years that we're going through right here. Now, that's not to say they won't go back up there again, you know, years from now, maybe even this year, if something changes with the economy and the Fed starts raising rates again or something. Yeah, then rates will start going back up again. But however, right now, with the economic environment we're in and the way the Fed's been talking, we may have seen the highest of CD accounts currently and maybe in the last month or so that we're going to see, you know, for the foreseeable future here in this next year or so or two years, however long it is until, you know, the Fed raises rates again. So just throwing it out there, still a good time to lock in some high yield CDs for sure. If you're in the market for a CD account, because yeah, rates are plateauing a little bit, going sideways and coming down a little bit. Calculation example for this one. If you have $50,000 in this account at 5.51% APY for 12 months and you let the interest sit every month and compound, after 12 months, that $50,000 will be around $52,746.83. CIBC stands for Canadian Imperial Bank of Commerce, which is a Canadian multinational banking and financial services corporation headquartered at CIBC Square in the financial district of Toronto, Ontario. CIBC was formed in 1961 through a merger between Canadian Bank of Commerce, which was founded in 1867, and Imperial Bank of Canada, which was founded in 1873. CIBC US provides commercial, wealth management, personal, and small business financial solutions and cross-border banking services to clients with North American operations, and their US headquarters is in Chicago, Illinois. Coming in at number one is the Total Direct Bank 3-month Certificate of Deposit Account at 5.56% APY. There's a $25,000 minimum deposit required amount to open this account, and there's a maximum deposit amount of $1 million. And with this account, the interest is compounded daily and credited monthly. Total Direct Bank also has a 6-month and 12-month CD at 5.50% APY, so high enough to tie at number 3. However, they had an account that was high enough to get at number 1. So I wanted to, of course, have this account at number 1 because it is number 1, but I also want to tell you about their other 
term accounts that have a nice high yield as well at 5.50% APY, they will be tied at number three as well with that six month and 12 month CD account. And one of the things that I note about this bank right here is that they don't do business everywhere in the United States. I have it noted at the top right there on the screen that Total Direct Bank can conduct business anywhere in the U.S. with the exception of Florida, Puerto Rico, American Samoa, Guam, Northern Mariana Islands, and U.S. Virgin Islands. They're nationwide pretty much kind of, but there are some exceptions right there. Calculation example for this one, if you have $50,000 in this account at 5.56% APY for three months and you let the interest sit each month and compound, after three months, that $50,000 will be around $50,682.06. Total Direct Bank is a division of City National Bank of Florida, which was founded in 1946. The parent company of National Bank of Florida is Banco de Credito e Inversiones, BCI, one of Latin America's largest banks and the second largest bank in Chile. Total Direct Bank offers CD accounts and money market accounts. And that is it with the video on the top five CD accounts ranked by APY for February 2024. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Take care.